I want to talk about like the process, bro, and the balance of the process because like, you know, a lot of the viewers out there, like they may be creators or they may be entrepreneurs or some doing something to pursuing in their dreams, mm -hmm. but they're not quite there yet. They still got to work a day job. They still got to find that balance between mm -hmm. life and pursuing their dreams, bro. Yeah. And I just want to kind of just talk about you and your balance and how you are balancing that right now in your life. And if you can't give any words for the people out there listening who might be struggling with finding yeah. that balance. Okay. So, yeah, man, um, I think first off, bro, you have to uh, be able to prioritize what is most meaningful and impactful uh, in your life at the moment. Um, shit, I'm 33 years old now, but uh, a few years ago, my um, my priorities were completely different. Shit, like. I, I wanted to have all the money in the world. I wanted to have all the women in the world. Mm -hmm. I wanted to have the fame, the riches. I wanted to look like a rap star, even though I was an actor. Like yeah. I, I wanted different things. So uh, during that time, my grind was aimed towards those things that I wanted. I didn't care about my relationships with my families, uh, my family members. I didn't mm -hmm. care about relationships with my friends. I didn't care about my relationship with God. I didn't mm. care about, I was willing to sacrifice those things to get what I wanted, what my priorities were at that time and now shoot as a 33 year old man with a child like now my priorities are different i want to spend time with my son i'm seeing how uh people are passing away daily like right. from celebrities nigga to the 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 the, the homeless bum down the streets and mm -hmm. people are dying every no, single facts, day bro. Facts, and every um, day. you can't take life for granted and you can't take your loved ones and you can't take the people that love you for granted and uh, i'm realizing that at 33 years old and so, uh, like, my priorities now were completely different. My son, my family, my friends. Um, um, bro, I spent a lot of time. I, I was, Jesus, this past year, I spent a lot of time just rekindling relationships and friendships that I, per that I didn't purposefully, but right. I had blindedly tarnished because of my, my, my objectives before. Like I said, I wanted mm. these other things. So I had to refix friendships. I had to rebuild relationships. I had to rebuild a relationship with my mom, bro. Wow. Yeah. Um, because I, I put other things before that, you know, before her and before the things that truly matter. And so, um, like I said, that's where I was then. And that, it, this is where I am now. And I'm learning and I'm noticing that now that my priorities are more centered towards the heart and uh, centered towards God. Shit, everything is in line. It's working how it's supposed to. Um, opportunities are coming uh, and the opportunities that are coming are way more beneficial and impactful than the ones that I was receiving when I wasn't focused driven on uh, what I am on now you know what I mean um, the things that are coming about now are more shit long-term legacy uh, driven and you know and um, so I say that to say as advice to those out there uh, shit prioritize and um, recognize and establish what is priorities and what is um, important to you at the moment. If you want the bullshit, <laughs> just know you working towards the bullshit and there's going to come a time to where you're going to have the bullshit and you're going to look around and you're going to say, damn, I did all this for this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> for real. Right. And then now you got to go figure it out. And so um, the best advice is prioritizing and going towards what you want because, and, but at the same token shit, don't fake it. If you want the bullshit right now, go for it. Because yeah. once you do go the right way, it's going to always be that down in your mind. Damn, man, I ain't get all the riches I wanted. I ain't hit all the females I wanted. Or I didn't go to all the clubs I wanted to go to. I ain't get on all the right people faces. I, and, you know, so it's always going to be in your conscience. But uh, live life, prioritize. Um, I, I, I also say this. The sooner you get it, <laughs> the better off you would be. It took me 33 years to realize that. You know what I mean? Imagine if I would have got it at 23. My mm -hmm. life would be in a whole different state. Uh, um, it would be. It would have been in a whole different direction than what it is now. You yeah. know what I mean? That's facts, bro. And I really resonate yeah. with your story too because I went through that same process, dog. Yeah. Like pouring everything into my pursuit of my dreams and my career, neglecting yeah. friends, neglecting family, yeah. neglecting the people that really care for me. Most you know what I'm saying? They trying to have a conversation with me. I'm out the door. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. I'm there. I'm missing birthday parties. I'm missing mm -hmm. important events because I'm putting this music thing over everything and over everybody. Everything. And then I realized like... I would probably say maybe about 27, 28, I realized, like, you know, I'm 31 at the time of we were filming this, but I I realized that, man, I want both. 
Yeah. You know, I want a family. I want that beautiful family dynamic and I want my career to flourish. Mm -hmm. And I started looking around and studying people like the people that I look up to have families, bro. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, have yeah. a wife, they yeah. have children, they have families yeah, yeah, yeah. and they pop out when they pop out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Those are the people I look up to and I started noticing that trend. Right. So I'm like, bro, I want that. I want to be have great relationships with my mom and my dad and everything in between and still do this. So I figured out that balance. And as far as the balance of like having to work a day job and still trying to pursue your dreams at the oh, same yeah. time, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, bro, that's a balance in itself, bro. Oftentimes, yeah. like, especially now I find it hard to have a job because everything is picking up so much, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's beautiful, but the irony of it is it's paying, but it ain't paying as much as consistently as you were with a job right now. You know right what now. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like a really awkward space for me right now. Yeah, yeah. But like I'm doing my best to navigate it because I really believe in what I'm doing with my career and I feel like it's going to pay off in the long run. Yeah. So, you know, I do what I can to make do what I need to do personally, but like I'm still all in. Well, and then, and, and, and you, it, it, man, um, so when I was at SCAD, bro, like, we used to have to take, like, yoga classes and all this stuff, so, mm. and they used to always teach about um, the universe and you being aligned with the universe and you being aligned with your breath and you being aligned with spiritually and with God and all these things, but alignment was in, crucial and important, and damn, like, at 33, again, like, here's something new that I've, I've, I've realized, bro, like, alignment is important. When you, if you set a purpose in life, right, if you say that what I want to do is create influential music that's going to change the world and, and better mankind, that's your purpose. Right. Everything that you do in your life day by day, whether it's, even if it is working a regular job. It has to reflect that. It has to align with the mm -hmm. purpose. You know what I mean? So like, for an example, uh, the job, the job that I work, the jobs that I work, whatever I do you, and making means, um, I make sure that it, it it for one take care of, takes care of me, my family, mm -hmm. but also align to my goal. My my job funds my projects. I can't. I don't sit around and wait for anyone to give me funding to do my projects. I I work my ass off to work a job that thank God pays me enough to be able to fund it. But and also to bear having to go to that job every day. <laughs> right, 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 right. You feel me? I know that it's in it's in purpose to what I have doing. Like. I don't give a damn if I'm working 30 days straight. You know what I mean? Um, when I can put out a movie like Lotus and people around the world can tell me how it's impacted their life. Nigga, those 30 days don't compare it to get what I'm saying. It don't, bro. And that's a very valid point. I read that in Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Like, don't work for money. Work for experience. Work for the experience. And things that, like, are more aligned with what you actually want to do. Yeah, and yeah. I've been, for the past two years, I've been doing, that's why I've been working in film, bro, behind the scenes, yeah, bro, because yeah. I'm like, I can learn, I can be around creative yeah. people, and I can bear going here every day. Yeah, that's the biggest thing, because yeah. if it ain't, like, closely related to what I want to do, I'm going to fucking be depressed, dog. I'm going to hate <laughs> pulling up, bro. I'm going to dread that <laughs> shit, bro. Yeah, most <laughs> done, most done, most done. 